All right, thank you for coming to the table. I'm Intuitive Empress, and we are going to have a read for my Libras, Twin Flame reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you know what to do. Take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. Thank you for your love and support by way of likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. I appreciate each and every one of you. To my new viewers, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who have not yet subscribed to the channel, why not? It is free. It takes a few seconds, but it helps the sister out so very much. So please do subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Donations are welcome and appreciated on this channel. And I like to thank everyone who has donated. The donations start at a minimum of $7.77 angel donations. So I do appreciate everyone that does donate to the channel because it does help me build this channel, get better materials and things like that to deliver messages better and more efficiently to you. All right. That information is in the description. My cash app is there as well as the link to my Etsy shop, which houses spiritual needs and products, including my Oracle cards that I have created that I use mainly during this, these videos. All right. So, without any further ado, please do like this video if you like my vibe, if this message resonates with you, or you're just feeling like giving a thumbs up, all right? So, that being said, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, we do ask for twin flame messages for the sign of Libra. We do ask that you protect us, keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. In the name of Jesus, negative vibes and the like. All right. And we do ask for your heavenly angels to come in and protect us, deliver messages, war on our behalf, and deliver our blessings without delay. We rebuke all negative energy, word curses, and the like. Because I'm not going to go through all of them. But we just reverse every, every, every curse. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. All right, so we do have this person is toxic. Oh, my goodness. It says, get out while you can. So this could be someone you're currently with um, for some of you. All right, this could be uh, someone who wants to put a stronghold on you. Okay, to pray for deliverance. All right, that's what we have going on here. What a way to start out a message. But there is someone who is husband material, or maybe this is you who someone thinks that that you are husband material, and that's why you need to get away from this karmic, nasty energy, this toxic person to find or to have delivered to you someone who is worthy of your energy. You could be um, dealing with a Sagittarius. I have Sagittarius in your chart. This is someone with the first, last, middle initial of E, F, G, or H. Or those could be your initials. All right. Um, some of this that you're going through could be karma for how you have done people in the past. Um, or God is telling you to get out of this situation because this person is about to get karma for how they treated you. Take it as it resonates. We have somebody with the first, last, middle initial or nickname of Y and Z. We have Scorpio energy here. All right. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have Scorpio in your chart. Wow. Okay. We also have the karmic cast a spell on the divine masculine or feminine. All right. And we have already reversed that curse and sent it back to the sender. Null and void in your life. All right. We have Libra. So you're coming up in your own reading. And we have Virgo. All right. So these could be the signs. It doesn't have to be. All right. That's involved in these situations. Take it as it resonates. All right. So we have the divine masculine wants to leave 
the karmic energy. This could be someone that is coming into your life that need to be healed and they're leaving a karmic situation after learning their karmic lessons. Libra is also a card of justice, so we do see that justice is coming out. This could be you want to leave a karmic situation. So you need to follow your heart and what Holy Spirit has been speaking to your heart. All right. But some of you, you might need to be delivered from a sexually transmitted demon or it could be a um, um, the person um, here. We have wife material. We have husband material. So we do have a match. OK, it could be that both of you are coming out of a toxic situation. All right. So it's time to cleanse yourself, have a spiritual spiritual baths. Uh, praying through your home using the anointed olive oil, um, you know, to pray through your home. All right. Someone is um, full of pride and arrogance, and it is negatively impacting your relationship if you are with someone now or this is your twin flame that you are with. All right. So we have here someone with the first, last, middle initials of I, J, K, and L. And we do have a divine partnership coming in, or you could already be a part of a divine partnership, but there may be some lingering um, spiritual issues going on because of this karmic and what they're trying to put out there, upset that your person has left them. And they, I'm getting that for some of you, this person has been gone for years um, out of your life as far as a relationship. Now, you may have children or this person may have children with someone. Yeah, there's definitely a distorted feminine in this situation that is trying to take what they could get. The thief. The thief. All right. That was on the cut of the deck. For many of you, we have the, the, the sort of feminine. Again, you could be having dreams and messages in your dreams about this. Maybe some nightmares or warnings from the Holy Spirit regarding this situation. All right. Holy Spirit, what else do we have regarding this situation? All right, Libras. All right, so somebody could drive a blue car, you or this person, possibly even the karmic. Um, we have someone whose finances are tied up. Um, somebody uh, could have long hair, all right, or lace front, weave, whatever. Um, someone could be short, you could be short, or this person could be short. We definitely have the divine feminine, so maybe the divine feminine is short um, in stature. Somebody has a light brown skin. Same thing could be the divine feminine. Or it could be a karmic. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, because we have somebody with light brown skin that has negative energy. Um, we also have someone with a fair skin tone, a lighter uh, than light brown skin tone. So somebody white or Asian descent also could be that. Caucasian or Asian descent. Um, we have gold car or tan car. Um, somebody could be driving. All right, possibly a Mercedes. We do have someone going through a transformation. Um, this is someone in the past that was not loyal. Now they are in remorse because of what they are going through. Now, because of the karma. This karma will make you remorseful. All right, we do have someone coming in that's sent by God towards you, Libra. This could be someone with curly or wavy hair that has a large doe eyes or just a larger set eyes. Um, just wide set eyes. Someone that's emotionally mature is about to take action toward you or you're about to take action because you found the person that has been sent by God for you. So let's see what's upcoming in this situation. Get a few cards from this. All 
All right. So we have um, this person uh, came about using lust um, for your person, trying to copycat, making this person think that they were the divine feminine. But in the end, this person ended up being the worst nightmare of you or your person. Okay. This person betrayed you or your person. Take it as it resonates. Um, I have to read this at both sides. But at the end of the day, um, Spirit is saying, you know, you might feel like that things are about to explode or you feel like you're going to explode, but you are protected. Okay. You just need um, to take some time. Somebody um, thought that you had outdated um, morals or things like that, but it's not the case. You just someone who was just a true love, you know, society has, um, changed what true love was and doesn't even push love, pushes, um, lust and all kinds of things. Okay. Where folk is like, oh, I don't have to get, um, to be committed because, you know, every, you know, everybody's out there doing it or, you know, making you think that everybody is cheating and everything like that. But you already know the deal. You already know the truth of the situation. You know that this person is toxic, uh, this karmic energy that your person was sneaking out on dates with, okay? Or sneaking to their home, creeping. Um, this person doesn't um, hate you. They actually really do have a love for you, but just got caught up in the atmosphere and the spirit that's going on in this world and life. I mean, look at it. Like, you you don't see too many people getting married. You have baby mama culture. Um, yes, you had baby mamas before that, but that wasn't um, the ideal or, you know, romanticized um, and everything like that. Um, we used to, you know, promote having a whole family. Like, that's something that is not you know, outdated. If you have kids here and there and here and there, um, a kid needs both parents. And so if you have 10 kids with 10 different people, it's, it's hard to make sure that your kids have stability um, and everything like that. Um, it's hard for you to be there with that many kids in that many households, all right? So we did have the tantric uh, sex, the sex that's mixed up in a lot of spiritual things. Um, this person, um, either you or your person felt like that they were played through manipulations, lies, and control, and maybe even controlled by a um, sexual, uh, a, a promiscuous, um, demonic entity, okay, causing this si uh, situation to break up. All right, so if you like this part of the message, please let me know by liking this video. Um, I, I know I got a little tongue tax. I feel like um, whatever entity is out there does not want this message to come out. But yeah, there is someone who has been deceptive. There is someone who has been doing magic. There is someone who is trying to keep you from being paired with the person that is for you or vice versa. All right. This person was doing a lot of manipulating. Yeah. Someone is hiding something from you. Um, I keep getting and picking up on that this other person, this karmic energy, could be a friend or a family member, could be a Gemini. All right. <laughs> but karma is a redheaded chick. Okay. This person felt like they had options and they pursued those options to their detriment, okay? Because karma is coming for them. Yeah. This person was very materialistic and they attracted someone who was just as materialistic as them and it's karmic. But you have good fortune and blessings coming to you. Hmm. Yeah. 
you have uh, let the most high be your avenger. So you don't have to worry in this situation. You do have someone who can't stop thinking about you. Um, this is someone who stole from you your time, your energy, your peace of mind, um, possibly money, um, your t you know, your time. And it says, a thief, once he is found, shall restore what he has stolen sevenfold. He will give all the substance of his house. Proverbs 6 and 31. This is set by God. So when people are like, oh, you're cursing me? No, you cursed yourself, boo. Because that was written long before any of us was here. And I know for a fact, and I've seen it happen, where karma will come and this person will lose every single thing that they had. Okay? Spirit is saying, Holy Spirit is saying, do something that feeds your spirit. He's giving you a new tribe. You're going to be overcoming any financial situations that was linked to this. Um, you just have to leave. For those of you who did not leave this situation. <coughs> okay. Um, that's what you're going to need to do. Okay. Um, just leave this situation behind. All right. Everything is going to work out. All right. Let's see what else we have. Here. So we have June. Some things could be turning around in June. Or this could be a Gemini, which did come out. So heavy Gemini or a Cancer. All right, so we have provision. God will supply everything you need according to his riches and glory um, in heavenly places, in Yeshua. So through our um, Jesus, this is Philippians 4 and 19. Wow. So I feel like this person now tables are turned where they're highly sexual, but nobody finds them attractive anymore. All right. It says you can't save everyone, only those that want help. I feel like you tried to warn this person that they were going down the wrong track. All right. Stay high vibrational and you're going to continue to receive high um, positive karma. This person that betrayed you will not. All right. The most high thoughts. Are not your thoughts, neither his ways, your ways. Isaiah 55 and 8. So that means let him handle this. He can get this person, this karmic and everything better than you ever could. Okay. So um, just keep holding on to what he told you. Keep your energy high. Um, and everything is going to work out. That's all I can say. This is an excellent message. Um I'm, I'm happy about this message. If this message resonates with you, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber. All right. And I will see you at the table, hopefully, next time. Bye.